Welcome to another filament testing video. This is Sanlu PC ABS, mix of polycarbonate and ABS materials. And according to the website, it is heat resistant, tough. This means it resists good to the impacts and it has smooth surface finished. Now the print temperatures. Another between 260 and 280 degrees Celsius. The bed between 100 and 110 degrees Celsius. Part cooling can be switched off and the, the speed up to 230 millimeters per second and this is almost 20 cubic millimeters per second flow quite big speed and flow rate now here comes the tricky part the room temperature between 90 and 100 degrees celsius right in my room i have only 25 degrees uh, and i don't have the sauna at home to print with this material the problem with they mean with this the temperature inside the enclosure but this is too much for every consumer to the printer and I already tested one PC ABS on this channel and uh, the only printer where I had some success was the Kiddy XMAX 3 which has the active reheated chamber. And I will try to print this uh, material on Kiddy Plus 4 uh, which has the active reheated chamber up to 65 degrees Celsius. I hope it will be enough. Let's unbox it. Mm -hmm. The bag is resealable on this side and it is in white color. On the sticker, same information about print settings like on the website. Mm -hmm. Plastic to lock end of the filament. Well, let's see how brittle is it. It shouldn't be. I can bend it. Let's prepare the temperature tower. It will be from 280 down to 260 degrees Celsius. The first layer looks good. It's heating up slowly, but for the first layer it is not so important because they are heated by the bed. It started with the bridging. And looks okay so far. Usually this stand starts with the warping if there is some problem or something like that. This is the last element on 260 degrees Celsius and uh, I can feel that smell of the ABS, not much, but I will see at the end uh, when I open the door. Maybe the filter works nice currently. It's finished few seconds ago, bad adhesion check. Okay, it's good, I have to wait until it cools down. And um, the smell is not so strong. Okay, that's a good sign. The overhang is okay on any element. The bridging, I think it's quite a tricky on 270. No stringing, so I will print everything on 280 degrees Celsius. Just for curiosity, I tried to print it on FSN S1 Pro, which is a closed printer but without actively heated chamber. And the result was huge warping. Same object I printed with the regular ABS and the printing was perfect. So definitely yes, high chamber temperature is really needed for this material. Settings in the slicer, I use Kiddy PC ABS as a start point, 280 on the nozzle, 16 will be the flow rate and this is the part cooling. The start is absolutely perfect. The printing is almost finished and this chamber heater really works nice. Everything is straight, no warping. The printing is finished and I hope you can see this elephant foot too. And this is my first printing on 100 degrees Celsius. And I'm not sure, maybe it doesn't compensate enough because maybe the homing was done on the lower bed temperature and the printing was on higher temperature. The adhesion is good and when it cools down, perfect. I'm printing few additional test objects for the impact test and you will see soon why. And I noticed uh, one more thing that if I preheat everything, uh, the bed and a little bit the chamber, in that case the Z offset is set correctly and there is no elephant foot. I also noticed that the shrinking is smaller compared to the regular ABS, which would have the length here 79.6 approximately. I'm starting with the tensile test, these are horizontally printed test objects. And this is the average from two. And now the layer adhesion test with vertically printed objects. Well, to be honest, I was expecting more from this material in these tests. Let's compare these numbers to the regular ABS, which is very big average from uh, approximately 15 tested ABS materials without any fibers. And we can see on a tensile test that the PC ABS is uh, slightly weaker. On the layer adhesion tests, they are very similar. Shear tests side by side horizontally and vertically printed objects. One part is missing, but uh, let's compare these numbers to the average ABS. 
Printed in horizontal position, they are very similar. Now printed vertically, PC ABS is noticeably stronger, but uh, the ABS is only average from 2 because I started this testing much later. The twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test object. This object is printed in horizontal position. 1.1 and this one in vertical position. One. Similar brake loads, but different failure types. This breaks more suddenly. Printed in vertical position where the layer attention is important, they are very similar. Now printed horizontally, the ABS was slightly stronger, but don't forget again that this is average only from two because this type of the testing I started later. Three point bending test, and these loads will be placed one by one, and I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. The distance between supports is 50 millimeters. This is a deformation under 5 kilograms now. And this is under 10 kilograms. And I can see some minimal permanent deformation on this test object. Compared to the regular ABS, this PC ABS has a more deformation but look at this, under 10 kg it has less deformation during the time. This means it uh, handles better these higher loads. Impact test with this half kg hammer. Son of PC ABS. Oh, oh. Like every other PC ABS I tested so far, no break under half kg hammer. I still want to have some measurable data and this machine is good only for high impacts, exactly what I need here. 57 66 This is really impact resistant filament even compared to the ABS which is considered as a tough material. The creep test deformation under the constant load and as you can see I have really a lot of tests in the progress and the load will be 1.25 kilograms. Locking the position for more accurate measuring. 16.92 I will measure them every day, but in the video let's jump 5 days. This is the last 5th day, and interesting these 4 materials have very similar deformation, only this one almost don't have any deformation, that's a PPACF, but let's measure them. 1784 In that summary table I am recording only first 2 days, but uh, even from this we can see that uh, this PC ABS has a bigger initial deformation, but the creeping is slower at least on this uh, first day. But after day 2 it is very minimal. Temperature test in the oven, and I have several tests in the progress. This is PC ABS. This is speed up time lapse video, and this PC ABS started with deformation at approximately 120 degrees Celsius. The testing I stopped at 150 degrees Celsius, but this was too high temperature for all four objects. They became too soft and flexible. And one more time, our results without any additional comments. And this one line will be added to that summary table. And basically this is the only gift for my Patreon supporters. Big thanks to them because they, well, together with the Polymaker now, keep this channel alive. So as you can see, this filament has its uh, weak points. Uh, I don't really like its tensile strength and it's not really easy for printing. And it has two big advantages, temperature resistance and I think the most important for this filament that it is extremely tough, resistant to impacts. And soon I will test several nylon filaments from the Sunlu. I already have those filaments here. And for the end, a friendly reminder, if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe and enable that notification bell button too, because in most cases my videos are not really recommended to new users, only to those who enable these notifications. Um, my main motivations are my Patreon supporters, and now I even have a channel sponsor, which is the Polymaker, so big thanks to both of them, and it's theoretically independent from number of the views, but I'm always sad if this kind of bigger work is uh, stuck on, I don't know, 5-6 thousand views. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and happy printing.